Good afternoon. I just wanted to do a uh, tutorial of the Carver 356 that's on Airbnb and VRBO. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you arrive is just make sure the water's on. Uh, spigot's right there. Uh, just make sure to turn off before you leave. That way if something breaks it doesn't flood the boat. One of the challenges with this boat, and I will work on trying to figure it out, is boarding it. Uh, there's really two ways you can board it. You can board it from the back. It's a bit of a jump. And then I do have a step stool right there. And you can make an attempt to kind of board it there. Um, with this being an aft cabin, it, it's not as easy as saying a boat like this. Um, the boat this came from had a floating dock. And I didn't think about this particular boat uh, having this issue. But at any rate, I just basically just step on. Um... And I do have a step stool if, if that would help you. The key will be in here and I will provide you with the code. And then once you enter, the AC may or may not be on. And if it's not on, it'll be one of the first things you will wanna do. So right here in this panel, you'll see three AC switches. Just make sure to turn all three on. And then this panel right here, just turn it on and set it at 70. Now, because this is a boat, um, certain things will remain off. If you wanna use the microwave, flip it on right there. If you wanna use the hot water heater, flip it on right there. But because we have to watch the amount of amperage that we use, just make sure to flip it back off. There's a chance if you're running the AC, microwave and hot water heater, you're going to trip a breaker. Um, there's light switches right here. These do fold out, well, they recline. Uh, the TV does have Wi-Fi connected to it. I usually watch some Roku. This does make a bed, although that's a Corian table and it is very heavy to drop. Oh, and one other side note. So everything on this side is gonna be AC and then everything on this side is gonna be DC or, or, or a battery. Hopefully you don't have to mess with any of that. Um, you don't have to worry about turning the, the water pump on because we're hooked to city connection. Um, it does have vacuum flush toilets. Um, the breakers would be in there if there's any issues. This is the galley. Shouldn't have to do anything with the refrigerator. I'll be honest, I don't use the oven. Uh, I did just recently get this boat. I haven't even checked it. However, you would probably have to turn the breaker on in there to use it. Um, so in here, the light switch is in the far corner. You can use the head. Really, all you have to do is just make sure the vacuum flush is on and then just flush it and it should do it all by itself. This tank monitor doesn't seem to work. Um, this boat just got parked here a couple days ago. They usually have someone come around to empty it. However, I would strongly recommend using the facilities at the marina. They have a nice shower house. Um, I typically go over there. That way, if anything were to arise with the toilet, you don't have to worry about it. Um, I do have spare pillows and spare sheets in these totes up here. The fitted sheets that came from Carver, the, these are kind of odd looking beds. Um, I have bleached them. They have some dye stains on there. If you're not comfortable with that, they are clean. I've got brand new sheets here. They're full sheets. Uh, it's not going to fit right, but they're brand new. And, um, you know, if you're not happy with the carver sheets, you can always put those on. Uh, so this is the forward berth. And then this is the forward bathroom. Um, and then back to the aft, which would be the master. Um, same scenario. I have bleached the fitted 1999 carver sheets. There's some dye stains on there. If you're not comfortable with that, you know, I have brand new sheets you're more than welcome to use. I will, because it's hard to make these beds and they're kind of oblong, I'm just going to keep the bedding folded. That way I know it's been washed. Um, the rear bathroom back here, there's two light switches right here. I do leave a dehumidifier run back here uh, with a boat. There's moisture. It's very important to keep that moisture out of here. Um... This is the first time I've ran both the air conditioner and the dehumidifier. This dehumidifier will pump out some heat. So while you're staying here, you can turn it off. An air conditioner acts as a dehumidifier as well. Um, just if you could remember before you leave to turn the dehumidifier back on. 
and possibly the air conditioner off. Um, so the toilet, you know, just make sure the vacuum flush is on and then, you know, it, it's really that simple. Then it fills back up. This one is showing full. Um, they do come around and empty it. Uh, be very careful what you put in here. Do not put anything in here besides light toilet paper. And that's really about it. The, um, these will get clogged again. I, I just use the facilities, um, at the marina but yeah that's you know pretty much it you have two sleeping areas uh sometimes i'll fall asleep on the couch the dinette sleeps um yeah you know it's a nice very comfortable place to stay and then i'll just show you real quick where the facilities are so the facilities are right there through those doors um and then if you could you know this this uh, just don't mess with the buttons or anything up here um this is a work in progress so i'm still i just got it i'm still working on it um there's some water damage in the aft cabin i'm working on um but let me know like you know when you stay here let let me know of things that i can do to improve your stay uh, i'm working on trying to get some kayaks over here so you can kind of take it out I've had a lot of requests for people wanting me to take them out. Um, docking this thing takes two or three people. I would have to get a captain's license. I'd have to change my liability insurance. So right now, that's not something that I would entertain. Uh, but you know, I, I love going out on the water and I would entertain it in the future. Um, but again, let me know if there's anything that I can do to improve this listing. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll always be reachable. Uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.